Welcome to another Straight Up Tuesday tip. I'm Tom Shellcross, licensed agent with Second City Real Estate. With me as always, Mark Ainley, founder and owner of GC Realty. And with us for the first time, we have Megan Christensen. Oh, I almost bob- bobbled an easy name there. That was bad. Uh, <laughs> Megan is with us from Forewarn, which some of our listeners are probably aware of. Some might, maybe not so much. So Megan, to kick this off, can you explain what is Forewarn? Why is this a product in the market right now? Absolutely. Um, First off, thank you guys for having me. Um, Forewarn is a proactive solution for realtors created um, to bring safety and awareness to the real estate estate industry um, because of how vulnerable the occupation really is. Um, Forewarn provides instant knowledge to realtors about their unknown contacts prior to any face-to-face engagement um, to help reduce the amount of risk that they enter into in their daily lives. So, um, for example, if if somebody calls them who, this is extreme, but who just got out of prison, they're going to be able to enter in that person's phone number. They're going to be able to pull up their criminal record, their financial history, um, they're going to be able to pull up basically their background to let them know this information so that realtor can move forward in a way that makes them feel safe um, and reduces the amount of risk that they enter into, even if that does just mean that they refer the client out or bring other realtors into the situation to make them feel safe. That That's essentially what Forewarn wants to help realtors be able to do. Got it. So let's walk through an example. I, I'm a realtor. I, I get a phone call saying, "Hey, you know, I'd like to, sh- you know, I have a show, I have a listing out there." I get a phone call from someone saying, "Hey, I'm from this brokerage. Uh, Want to show this property at X, Y, Z time?" Am I able then to just trace that through there just to validate that they are for real? Like, am I mm-hmm. summarizing that correctly? Yes, yes, you are, and you um, you'll be able to make sure that number one, our priority is safety, of course. So. Um, so you'll be able to make sure that their background is a safe background for you to be working with and for you to be alone with that person. What type of information uh, is on there? Like how, how detailed is it when it comes to like background or or kind of risk? Is, is there, do you have to really understand and look at and decipher it? Is there like a, a, a rating system or is there anything like that that shows uh, kind of user-friendly type? Oh, Forewarn is extremely user friendly and it was intentionally designed to be that way. Um, So literally all you do is type in their phone number or their name um, and it brings up in seconds their financial risks, any um, liens, judgments, foreclosures, bankruptcies, anything that would be a concern, you know, as a realtor for a potential client. Um, Criminal history, it's very self-explanatory criminal history, any convictions that they have on their record, you're going to be able to see those. Um, you're also going to be able to see their assets. So you can you can know what vehicle they drive ahead of meeting them. So when you pull up to a showing, you know it's them based on the vehicle that's on forewarn, you know, that they that they um, own and that will be at that showing. Um, you'll also get property ownership history or um, a property um history such as rentals or maybe their parents' home, any address that was associated with them since turning 18, you'll have that information. And then of course, homes owned. And sometimes you can even see the mortgage amounts depending on if you're in a disclosure or non-disclosure state. So you, it's very self-explanatory. It's very simple to read. So we use Forewarn uh, for that reason. Our leasing agents use it, um, you know, because we have a lot of inquiries that come straight off of Zillow uh, through ShowMojo and all that stuff. But we use it definitely for that. But we also use it as a tool for lease screening. Not, uh, we don't, uh, it's just another checkpoint that we can have in, in our reference because, you know, a lot of it's public record. We might be pulled somewhere else, but it's always just another mm-hmm. double check to make sure, make sure we're always looking for red flags when you're screening, right? And that's one other uh, tool that we have in our arsenal to make sure that, we know who we are approving for rentals. Yes. What uh, you, you had, there's some recent stories uh, in Illinois about how this really helped uh, realtors or uh, I'm not sure if they're showing agents or, or sales agents, but share us uh, an example of how this helped somebody specific here locally in Illinois. 
Absolutely. So um, there's an example that I, I do like to reference because this, this agent works for the Main Street Organization of Realtors. So close by to you guys. Um, yeah. So Main Street had just started providing forewarn to all their members for free as well um, for about a month at this time period. And this agent was new. She was excited to make a deal, right? Like we all are just getting started. And she received a phone call from a man. She didn't know him. Um, basically, in short, the man once told the agent he wanted to sell his home, but he was flying out the next day, could only meet her that night at the property to show her around the place. Um, so she agreed, but then another agent had asked her after finding out about the meeting that she was going to have um, if she'd forewarned him yet. And she said no, um, and they do get the service for free, right? So she um, forewarned this man. And what popped up was 74 criminal records all along the lines of um, sexual assault, battery, um, theft, fraud, like you name it, pretty much this guy had it. And so had she not forewarned him first, she could have entered into a significantly dangerous situation and, and the outcome could have been absolutely terrible. So if in this example specifically, we truly believe that forewarned saved this agent. Wow. So, so talk to us, it, how, how would it, you know, I I'm showing apartments. I don't, I, I want to know the person coming in there. How, mm -hmm. how do I get synced up with forewarned? Like what, what are the steps? Like what, what does someone have to do? What is, what does every, all that look like? Absolutely. So um, there's, we are linked with about 225 um, associations, organizations, and MLSs across the country. So those associations do provide forewarn for free. So if you're a part of one of those associations, all you do is go to forewarn.com slash member setup. You input your email that your association or organization has on file for you. Um, we're going to send you a confirmation email. And it's that simple pretty much for you to create your account and get activated. Um, we do have an app that you can download on your phone or you can use your web browser, whichever is your preference. Um, but it's, it's really simple. It's really easy. And you can get started that quickly. If you are a member or not a member of an organization, organization that provides forewarn, um, you can contact us. You can just go to forewarn.com and um, we can help you um, sign up for an individual account. That is about $240 a year for an individual. So of course, having your association or organization provide it is of course um, a huge benefit that you want to take advantage of. But if they don't, you're welcome to purchase the individual account as well. That's great. Both uh, both CAR, Chicago Association of Realtors and Main Street are participants in this program. So uh, the 30,000 of you that hopefully are listening, uh, you guys all have this benefit already that you're paying for. One of those, you know, all those fees you pay on an annual basis, you're not sure what you get for it. This is one of those great things that you're not realizing you're not using. So uh, yes. definitely check that out. The one other uh, question I have before we wrap here is the service is available to anybody and you can also I just want to point this out here. Like we, we use it and maybe I'm getting older and nostalgic, but I think it's such a, you know, for us to not use it when it's free is silly because it's such a, you can, you can never take back sometimes that, that one showing, or you can never take back that, that stranger you meet. And, uh, you know, whether you're a guy or a girl, it, it's always safe to keep yourself in, uh, in safe situations. So, you know, you, you, even the people that this doesn't qualify for, for free or part of your membership, the $240 where you said it, that's such a small price to pay for for peace of mind for your your your, your employees, your your spouse that might be a realtor, your 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 kids that are realtors, whatever it might be. So I just want to point that out to everybody. Thank you for that. And yes, um, safety obviously is the number one priority. That is our goal. Um, why not know who you're working with ahead of time and prevent yourself from being in these situations? Even the financial part of it. There's scammers and fraud fraud people out there all the time that um, target realtors. And so just be ahead, be ahead of the game and know who you're working with ahead of time. Yeah, definitely. With all the scams going on right now, uh, where people are, are using fake uh, information, this this helps line up that story, especially the car part. That's how we caught a couple people where it's like mm -hmm. that person, if you put the the real number in, does not line up with the everything else that's on the internet. So th there's a lot of uh, red flags that get pointed out if someone is trying to pretend that there's somebody else that they're not in a leasing situation. 
Yes, absolutely. And um, I do want to point out too that um, we encourage all brokerages to kind of just make this a part of their um, new hire protocol. You know, how simple would it be to just have an agent activate their free account as soon as they sign with your company, right? It, it just shows you as the broker too, like you care for your agents, you care for their safety and you want them um, to have all access to these kinds of systems to implement in their daily protocols um, to make sure they are being safe and that their well-being is taken care of. Yeah, just the awareness factor, right? Admittedly, this is something that I don't think about, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it, it could happen, it could happen to anyone. <laughs> Absolutely. I I have personal experiences too, because I'm a realtor also. And um, for example, not too long ago, I had a uh, individual come to me. I did not know them, but they were very sweet, very kind. I never would have thought that they would have anything um, to be concerned about in their background. And I did end up forewarning them and they did end up having homicide on their criminal record. And so obviously with that knowledge, you definitely proceed with a different level of caution moving forward and you implement different protocols to make sure that no matter what you're safe. And that's, that's what we want everyone to have um, in their, you know, real estate work and, and their life. So. Yes. All right. My, Megan, great information. Um, we will link to this in the show notes. So our, our listeners and our audience can learn more. Mark, are you ready for the Chicago fact? I'm ready for the Chicago fact. And today we're going to play for Jessica Rains out of Pilsen, who bought a T-shirt uh, this back in March. So, Jessica, hopefully you are listening. And if I get this question right or we'll give Megan a chance to get the question right, you'll get a $50 gift card brought to you by Renovo. All right. So, Megan, listen up as well. Mark will get first shot, but you get a chance as well. Okay. All right. So, and Mark, this is going to be, in my opinion, a pure guessing one, but it's a cool little fact. So, I'll be shocked if you actually knew the answer. Okay. So, the Shed Aquarium was a gift from John G. Shedd. He donated $3 million to get, you know, to get this off the ground, get it constructed. Mr. Shedd accumulated his wealth working for one company his whole entire adult life, eventually rising to the chairman of the board for that company. Which company was it? And I'll give you multiple choice. Or do you know this? You're smiling. No, no, I think I know, but go. All right. The four options are Marshall Field, Ford, Sears, J.P. Morgan Chase. Where did John Shedd accumulate his wealth. Uh, I thought it was going to be Harvester with McCormick's, but um, I'll, I'll say uh, Marshall Fields. All right. Megan, where do you want to go? I'm going to go with Sears because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good Chicago choice there. Mark, Marshall's, Marshall Fields, you got it. Yes. Heck yeah. He worked his way up from a store clerk. He, he, was, he became the prodigy uh, of, of Marshall Field himself. All so right. he was the second, the second chairman, the second uh, president there. And he did the Shed Aquarium to complement the Field Museum, which his predecessor had funded. Huh. That's awesome. And uh, a side note, fun fact, uh, WLS, we've all heard of the radio station in this Channel 7 here. That that stood for World Largest Store, which was owned by Sears originally. Huh. Did so, not know that one. Yeah, We're just dropping point. knowledge bombs everywhere. Knowledge bombs everywhere. All right. Megan, thank you so much for coming on here. Hopefully uh, you've... Uh, educated us all and, and maybe even prevented some uh, bad things from happening to people here today. Tom, thank you as always. Listeners, if you have any questions about Forewarn or you want firsthand experience of uh, how we use it in our lease uh, underwriting and screening and to keep our leasing agents safe, uh, please feel free to reach out to myself directly. I'm happy to always share our experience. Um, Megan, thank you very much. Tom, thank you. And listeners, we'll see you Thursday. Thanks all. Thank you so much for having me.